Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try For No One by the Beatles. <clears throat> Capo second fret. back in. Okay, so that's for no one. Uh, it, it repeats the same form throughout the whole song. Uh, it's more of a piano song, so we do our best to try and make it a guitar song, okay? So I, I change it a little bit. Uh, first of all, I put the capo at the second fret, so I'm in a different, well, I'm in the key, I'm in their key, but uh, I changed it, cheated with the key capo, right? So uh, let's go over, uh, let's see, Let's start with the chords. All right, <clears throat> so an A chord. You can do your regular A chord if you want. I set my A up like this. <clears throat> I play four, three, and two up with my first finger on a bar. Uh, so to set up the, basically that whole riff with the, the bass line, you know? So what I'm doing is I'm hitting the fifth string open. And uh, that, that's what you'll hear, like I'll call that a boom. And then uh, the piano goes like this. but uh, it, it is what the piano does you know so you could do it that way too I'll show you both ways so you got your fifth string open and then I have my A chord It's four three and two at the second fret I end up um, not really playing my first string kind of muting it because I play on an angle so I go three downs if you want to do what the piano is doing boom down 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 what I did was I went down up down down up that's how I did it on each of these chords. So to give it more movement and stuff, uh, the guitar needs to push it a little bit. So then my next chord, I'm going to put the uh, keep the A chord there, but put G sharp in the bass, sixth string, fourth fret, uh, fourth fret from the capo. I hit that note. So I did down up down down up after the boom. Uh, the piano would go. That way and then now I got F sharp minor 7 the piano actually plays an F sharp minor I, I, I added the seventh because it's easier on the guitar <laughs> so I, I'm still gonna stay at that second fret now I'm gonna wrap my thumb around grab the six string second fret and use that as my boom okay. and then I go and I, I, I want F sharp minor 7 with E in the bass so I let go let the six string be my uh, boom and then I go to a D chord, uh, that's the 3rd and 1st string 2nd fret, 2nd string 3rd fret. I'm going to use the 4th string open. And again, the piano would just go boom, 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 boom. Okay? Uh, and then I go to a G chord. So the G was the 6th string 3rd fret, 5th string 2nd fret, 2nd and 1st string 3rd fret. I'm going to use the 6th string. And do that strum. Then I go back to the A. I play it twice. Okay, so that's your verse, and you do that twice every single time. Um, the form of the song is verse, verse, chorus, verse, solo, chorus. Uh, the solo is exactly you play exactly the same thing as the um, as the verse. So the solo and the verse are the same thing for you for your part, your background chords, and then verse, verse, chorus again. So if you do verse, verse, chorus, and you do that three times in a row. You got the whole song. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense. So we got A, A with G sharp in the bass, F sharp minor, 7, F sharp minor, 7 with E in the bass, D, G, back to an A, twice. Repeat, A, A with G sharp in the bass, F sharp minor, 7, F sharp minor, 7 with E in the bass. Now 
Now for our, our chorus, uh, we need a B minor chord. Okay, so we're going to bar the second fret. Uh, I avoid the sixth string. I just stick my finger right up into it. Uh, second string, third fret, fourth and third string at the fourth fret. That's my B minor chord. My boom, I could hit the fifth string or I could just do it down, doesn't matter. So it ends up being boom, down, up, down, down, up. And then the F sharp seven, you bar the whole second fret, third string, third fret, fifth string, fourth fret. The boom could be the sixth string. Back to the B minor. Twice, and then actually a third time, and then the F sharp minor, uh, F F sharp seven, sorry, and then B minor again three times, and then the E sus four to the E. So E sus four is fifth string, fourth string, and third string at the second fret, and I leave my first finger free because I'm going to go to an E chord next. So. That's your sus, four, E sus four. Then I want third string first fret, so I just lift up the pinky, and I have my first finger on the third string first fret, and that's my E chord, okay? And uh, those, it's kind of like, that slows everything down. There's like, it's, it's almost like fermatas. They kind of pause, in other words, a fermata is a, like a hold sign, okay? So uh, here's the chorus. and a chorus three times in a row, all the way through. Um, sorry, just not going to do it. So, uh, those are the chords. Uh, that's the strum pattern. I think um, if you want, you know, you could do a, a simpler one where you go... Okay, could do that. But that's it. So, uh, I think it worked out very nicely on the guitar uh, for a big piano song like that. Um, I think it worked out really well. This one would work well in gigs. So, um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and play more guitar. <laughs>